Hi everyone. In this lesson we want to talk about how you square a binomial. So if I have x plus 2 quantity squared, notice one thing I could do is just go ahead and write it as x plus 2 times x plus 2 and then use the FOIL method. Multiply the first ones so that give you x squared. Multiply the outers as 2x. And notice the inners are also going to be, give you 2x. So 2x and 2x is 4x. And 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, so if I square that, I'm going to get x squared plus 4x plus 4. But what we want to do is something a little bit different than this. We actually want to be able to go from here, squaring, to the answer right here without having to write this out. And so we want to learn a trick because we square binomials so often in algebra, it pays to be able to go from here to here. So what you'll notice is that when I square a binomial, I'm going to end up squaring the x, and I can just write down x squared. And then I'm going to get a middle term, and the middle term is going to be from the combination of the outers, 2x, and the inners that are the same 2x. Well, notice that's the same thing as multiplying this x times this 2, x times 2 is 2x, and doubling it. So x times 2 is 2x, doubled is 4x, you'd write that down, and then square the 2, that gives you 4. So if I were to do that over here, I would take the x and I'd square it, and then I'd take x times negative 2, right? There's, think of this as a negative 2. Uh, x times negative 2 is negative 2x, and doubled would be negative 4x, and then I have to square the negative 2, that would give me 4. So that's what I want to be able to do. Now again, just so you see what uh, how those all work out, if I were to write it out as x minus 2 times x minus 2, which is what it means to square a binomial, the x times x, that's the x squared, and then when I take this term times the negative 2 and double it, that's the same thing as taking the outers, negative 2x, and the inners, another negative 2x. That gives me the negative 4x, and then the negative 2 times negative 2, right here squared that's 4. So if I were to do that on this one I'd get x squared, right? I'm going to square the x and I'm going to take the x times the 5 is 5x and I have to double that. That gives me 10x and then square the 5 is 25. Okay? Again, if you want to write this out as x plus 5 times x plus 5, you'll see where all those came from, right? The first gives you the x squared, the outers are a 5x the inners are another 5x. That's the 5x up here I did double. That gives you 10x. And then 5 times 5 is 5 squared, or 25. Okay? So, if I have x minus 8 squared, you should be able to just very quickly say, well, that's x squared. Negative 8x doubled is negative 16x. And then negative 8 squared is 64. And you've squared the binomial. If I wanted to square this, I'd take 3x and square it, and that's going to be 9x squared. You have to square the whole quantity. 3x times negative 4 is negative 12x. Doubled is negative 24x. And then the negative 4 squared is going to be a plus 16. We've just squared the binomial. If I had this one, I'd get uh, 7x squared. That's going to be a 49x squared. 7x times 3y, that's 21x squat, xy. 21xy doubled is 42xy. And then the 3y squared would be a 9y squared. And we've squared the binomial. Okay, so I hope you'll uh, learn that trick. It uh, simplifies many things later on in algebra, saves you a lot of time. Uh, one last example here. Here's a function f of x equals x squared plus 7. Um, suppose I wanted to find f of a plus h. Now you remember f of a plus h means the output for the function when the input's a plus h. So I have to replace the x up here with a plus h. That's going to give me a plus h squared plus 7. So you can see why I'm doing this example in the context of squaring the binomials, because I end up squaring this binomial, and so that's going to give me a squared, and then a times h is just a h, doubled would be 2 a h, and then I have to square the h, and then finally add the 7. Okay? If I wanted just uh, f of a by itself, that's of course just a squared plus 7, the a is just taking the place of the x, and then part three here, uh, this is really a lesson in understanding the language of functions. This says f of a plus h minus f of a. 
well f of a plus h that's just the output of this function when the inputs a plus h and we did that up here right that's that's going to be a squared plus 2ah plus h squared plus 7 that's that part and then I've got this minus sign I want to subtract from that what I get when I plug a into the function and f of a well we just did that up here as well that's a squared uh, plus 7 okay so from there I just have to uh, do the distribute this minus sign right here I mean kind of a big minus sign there and so that's gonna give me a squared plus 2a h plus h squared plus 7 minus a squared minus 7 and then you can see that these a squared are gonna cancel the sevens are gonna cancel but I still end up with 2a h plus h squared Okay.